My name is Jonathan Braff. My presentation is called Keep Fighting. My name's Jonathan Braff. I'm 25 years old. I'm a student at Plymouth University. Life throws many challenges at you. This is my story. I've always been a very active person. I went to Canada on my gap here to train as a ski instructor. One day I felt unwell. I went back to bed to try and sleep it off. I remember waking up in hospital. <laughs> surrounded by people standing over me, telling me that I'd contracted meningitis. I spent 10 days in intensive care, drifting in nice consciousness. I can't remember much about it. Due to complications during my treatment, I am now left paralysed from the neck down and need a ventilator to breathe. I was flying back to England in an air ambulance where I spent six months in intensive care. where I was unable to speak. At first, all I could do was blink. It wasn't until I was admitted to Salisbury Spinal Unit that I finally got my voice back. Half thousand hospital. I remember being told about the opportunity of going to university. At the time, this seemed almost unreachable. But six years on, here I am at university studying media. Going to university has given me the option to explore many aspects of media. I've discovered a passion for filmmaking, which has allowed me to express myself. I've worked on several exciting projects including a dissertation on disability representation in media. I've also made a 15-minute film with my life story. Throughout the course, I've learned to drop because I've had to push myself, and it's been worth it. Whilst being at uni, I've had many different experiences through which I've discovered a passion for music. Before going on stage, I'm nervous and shy, feeling worried about how people will react to me. Oh, I can't, I can't. Well, but for the meantime, 
Uh, me and John have done some songs. We've done some songs now, but a lot of times now, but we have been trying to tonight. But once you get up there, those feelings go away. And I just concentrate on the music. I like to show that people with disabilities are the same as everyone else. It's not a disability that defines you, but who you are and the way you approach life. Everyday challenges. To make 9 a.m. uni lecture, my morning routine had to start at 4 a.m., which is a problem if you're still in the student union at 2. Conversation can be tough when you can't swallow and you have to stop talking to hoover it out or spray the person next to you. Luckily, I have a great care team who've travelled to me to Belfast, Zurich, and on regular trips to the other fight, and around the UK to film festivals. Driving for independence. With the help of Remap and my dad, we developed a head-mounted mass control that allows me to drive my chair. It takes a lot of effort and concentration. I contacted Imperial College to arrange and collaborate on the next step in technology. I've done several walks Wings for Life, Parallel London, and the Fight Valley's Walk. Frustration, struggle, there. Situation bittersweet. This chair does not defy me. It allows me to compete. Challenges are plenty. Boundaries you can see. Know that you can break them. Set yourself free. So keep on, keep on fighting. Get in the zone. Pushing the limits. Miles you have flown. Being in a wheelchair doesn't prevent you from going on and achieving things that you want to do. Boundaries to overcome are physical, emotional, and psychological. We put them on ourselves and they're put in front of us by those who might stare, judge, or discriminate. I graduated from university. I'm writing a book and returning to sport. I'd love to raise money for people who help me and continue to help others. Embrace the challenge, break the boundaries. Charities I've been fundraising for are Wings for Life, SIA, and Meningitis Now. You can get knocked down. It may seem like there's a mountain in front of you but you can turn the obstacle into opportunity. Get back up 
and keep fighting. Thanks for listening.